from Tampa Bay streaming news leader. This is ABC Action News. It's a roller coaster ride of temps headed our way this work week. Hello, I'm Isabel Rosales. McKenna has Florida's most accurate forecast in just a moment. But first, here are your ABC Action News Now headlines. We've been telling you all about frustrated seniors who say they can't get through the phone to set up a COVID-19 vaccine appointment. Now, Governor Ron DeSantis says he is working on it. From the Senior Living Center in Lynn Haven, the governor announced the rollout of a new program. The state is opening seven vaccination sites at predominantly African-American churches. And from where the governor spoke in Bay County, 500 people were vaccinated on Sunday. We've got about a quarter of a million seniors that have been reported for vaccination already, and you're going to see more reported uh, just on the reporting lag, and then obviously we're doing it more every, every day. So that's what it's about. It's about being there for our senior citizens. The sites are located in Lynn Haven, Tallahassee, Hollywood, Fort Lauderdale, Port St. Lucie, Jacksonville, and Tampa. Taking a look at Florida's coronavirus numbers, you can quickly see why the need to get as many of us vaccinated against the virus is so great. Since Saturday, the state reported an additional 12,000 positive cases and 108 more Floridians have lost their lives to the virus. That pushes the total number of cases to over 1,400,000. And there's a death toll. The virus has killed nearly 23,000 Floridians. Meanwhile, the positivity rate is now under 10 and half percent. That is down from a day earlier, but health experts warn that threshold should be 5% and below to slow the spread. But we also want to highlight the good that is happening. The state says it has received 1.2 million vaccine doses so far and over half a million Floridians have been vaccinated. Next week, Florida expects to see another quarter million doses. OK, McKenna, how are we looking? Overnight lows to kick off your Monday morning going to be much warmer than those lows we saw on Sunday. 40 degrees to kick off the morning in Crystal River, 47 in Apollo Beach, 46 in Arcadia and Mayaca City and 48 in Sarasota. As you head out the door tomorrow morning, kicking off your work week, we're at 48 degrees by 8 a.m., 60 degrees by 10 a.m., a cool and dry forecast ahead. Your high temperatures right about where they should be this time of year. In fact, even a couple of degrees above average, 70 in Crystal River, 73 in Tampa, 75 in Mayaka City, and 76 degrees in Wachula and Arcadia. Futurecast not showing a whole lot as far as cloud cover until Tuesday. Then the cloud cover really starts to roll in. A spotty shower moving through as you commute to work on Tuesday morning. But other than that, the forecast is going to be bring remain mostly dry. We do have another cold front though already on the way after the middle of the week. 73 degrees going into Tuesday. Then that cold front moves in, dropping our temps to the mid to upper 60s for Wednesday and Thursday. Warming back up on Friday to end the work week before another cold front enters the forecast going into Saturday.